coming soon to theaters. soon on video and DVD. Fifteen years ago... You got your shot at baseball. You got hurt. Jimmy Morris put his dreams aside. Hey, Coach, you want to throw? I'll throw a couple. Yeah, Dad, bring the heat. But sometimes, when you least expect it... Dreams come back to life. I threw today. How hard? Pretty hard. Anybody want to tell me how we lost that game? You quit out there. We start winning, you try out again. All right. Woo! It started as a simple bet. It was this thing to get the kids to start playing. Don't hurt yourself. You just threw 98 miles an hour. No. It became the most incredible true story in baseball history. Dennis Quaid. Do you know how many guys can throw the ball 98 miles an hour? Yes! Not many. Walt Disney Pictures presents The Rookie, coming to Disney DVD and video. For the first time ever, on DVD and video, all the Disney villains are together, and they're taking over the House of Mouse in Mickey's House of Villains. Oh no! Inside this evil joint, every guest gets to the point. This day will live in infamy. The House, House of, Mouse of Mouse is history. <laughs> Hit the road, Minnie! Take a hike, Shiggy! It's our house now! It's our house now! Our house now. <laughs> Mickey's House of Villains. A full-length movie new to Disney DVD and video. Can I get a little help here? Tuesday, September 3rd. Monsters in training. Fight that box. Scary monsters don't have plaque. Warning. Boo! Kid on the loose. Kitty! I have a plan. Oh! oh. Ah. I like. From the creators of Toy Story. Ah. 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 Monsters Incorporated. I have to do something! Coming soon to Disney DVD and video. The music. The characters. The story. The romance. The adventure. 
of Disney's most acclaimed and beloved animated film of all time are now more enchanted than ever. There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? With an all-new animated musical sequence, Human Again, featuring favorite enchanted friends and a host of new magical characters and their dreams to be human again. Initially conceived for, but never used in the original feature, Human Again became a huge success when it premiered in the Broadway show. This led to two years of animating and orchestrating to create this all-new musical sequence by Academy Award-winning composers Alan Menken and the late Howard Ashman. The tale as old as time is new again. The special edition of Beauty and the Beast. Premiering on Disney DVD and video. Be our guest in a whole new world of enchantment. Tuesday, October 8th. Premiering only on Disney DVD and video, Roly Poly Oly, the great defender of fun. Someone has stolen Zoe's birthday. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, I'll save you. It's up to one daring robot. Don't worry, Zoe. To save the celebration. It's Space Boy Oly to the rescue. And bring fun back to the cosmos forever. Yay! Playhouse Disney's Roly Poly Oly, the great defender of fun. His first all-new full-length adventure. Yeah! Premiering only on Disney DVD and video, summer 2002. It's Schoolhouse Rock, the 30th Anniversary Edition. The DVD is coming, the DVD is coming. Yay! I'm just a bill. All the classic yes, songs that rocked your bill. Saturday mornings and are premiering on DVD for the first time ever. Wow! Conjunction, junction, extra, extra. Bonus features include audio commentaries and interviews with the creators of Schoolhouse Rock. Two fun-filled games. <laughs> And an all-new song performed by the original cast. I'm gonna send your vote to college when you vote for a president. Disney presents Schoolhouse Rock, the 30th Anniversary Edition, featuring the entire collection of Schoolhouse Rock songs. Available to own for the very first time. Right on DVD, August 27th. Also available on VHS, the best of Schoolhouse Rock. It's one of Disney's most beloved animated classics. Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. Oh dear. And now... Brace yourself. It's an all-new movie. 101 Dalmatians 2. Patches London Adventure. 98, 99, 101. Do you think I'm one of a kind or just one of 101? 101. That's it. Patch felt lost in a sea of spots. My until he learned what it takes to become a one-of-a-kind hero. Wow, one-of-a-kind. 
It's a one-of-a-kind movie. It's remarkable. It's stunning. It's grand. It makes me smile a lot. Walt Disney Pictures proudly presents 101 Dalmatians 2, Patch's London Adventure. Patch was fantastic. Coming soon to Disney DVD and video. Supremo. to build a new treehouse. Use the arrow keys on your remote control to highlight your selections, and then press Enter. Make your selections wisely, because with three wrong choices, you'll have to start all over again. Jane's father, Professor Porter, is waiting for you now. Press the arrow button to join him. Hey, it looks like we have gathered materials to build some sort of structure or laboratory or... Uh, why, by Jove, we are going to build a new treehouse. I believe Turk said she'd swing by to help too. Let's see now, rather hard to imagine without blueprints. Uh, what's our first step? First step. That's it, by Jove. Splendid, precisely right. It stands to reason to put in the floor next. Do you spot anything we can use? By Jove, you've done it! Excellent work! We must have good sturdy walls to keep the simians out, or they're sure to break in and monkey around. <laughs> oh yes, you see, simian and monkey. <clears throat> What can we use for walls? By Jove, you've done it! Excellent work! I say a sound roof is a must in a climate such as this. It's something to keep the rains at bay. Be a good soul and fetch us something for the roof. By Jove, you've done it! Excellent work! I suppose a swing would be fitting. Look about and find something we can fashion into a swing. Good show, old chap. Good show. It's looking fine, if I do say so myself. All we need now is something to cover that uh, uh, rather gaping entryway. Uh, what should we use? Absolutely splendid. Uh, but I suspect there's work to do inside. Uh, shall we take a gander? treehouse indeed, uh, though it seems to be missing something, that uh, lived-in look. Perhaps if we add some furnishings, knick-knacks and uh, whatnots, and uh, Tantor can help us by scratching his back on the tree, creating the proper momentum to position things into place. Happy to help, Professor. You will need this item to prepare a hearty meal. Can you select it now? A 
little to the left, Tantor. How's that? We can't expect to eat standing up now, can we? Positively barbaric. Find some furniture to sit and dine. That'll do the trick quite nicely. Stargazing would make for a perfectly smashing evening, wouldn't you agree? Uh, look about, there must be something suitable. Splendid, Tantor. You're a very good scratcher. Oh, thanks. One of my natural talents. I say this piece of furniture will add a nice finishing touch, and you can place items on top, wild flowers and such. An excellent selection. Good show. I suspect you would like to take a nap now and again. I say that Tantor is a genius. It gets pitch dark at night in the jungle. You can't see your hand in front of your spectacles. This item will shed some light quite nicely. I say we're turning this house into a home. Splendid. I'm sure you can use this to store an item or two. Blankets, netting, and by gosh, buried... ...treasure. Tantor, I don't know what we'd do without you. Lucky thing that I've got an itchy back, huh? Since music soothes the... Smashing, simply smashing! Oh my, most grateful for your efforts. And thank you too, Tantor. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> and my back feels so much better. up your own Tarzan and Jane story. At the end of each story segment, it's up to you to choose what happens next. If you want to hear your choices again, click on the curved arrow in the lower right corner of the screen. And if you want to exit the story, click on the X in the other corner. To get started, select the arrow in the center. Good luck! Every once in a while, the excitement of life in the jungle takes a turn toward the routine. Take today. Turk is fishing in her favorite stump. The professor is busy at work in his lab. Ouch. And Tarzan is helping Jane adjust to life in the jungle. <laughs> oh, routine. But one thing is out of the ordinary. Jane. She seems to be feeling a little out of her element lately. I guess this place can be overwhelming sometimes. And I know Jane doesn't want to feel like a burden to Tarzan. Of course, Tarzan will always be there to protect her. But as my buddy Turk always says, there's only so many times you can pull somebody out of the mud. <laughs> um, as well as Jane is adapted to life in the jungle, sometimes uh, she's as clumsy as an elephant, uh, figuratively speaking, of course. But Tarzan doesn't mind. In fact, he'd be at her side right now if not for that plume of smoke there in the distance. Smoke. Did I say smoke? Oh, wait. When there's smoke, 
there's more smoke. And where there's more smoke, there's fire, and, and fire is no friend to the jungle. <laughs> what do you think Tarzan should do? Rush to investigate the fire? Or help Jane out of the mud? Oh, I can't look. <laughs> Tell me when it's over. Aren't you a softie? Tarzan, always a gentleman of the jungle, swings down to help his beloved Jane out of the mud. <laughs> you know, being stuck in a mud puddle is a far cry from the life Jane knew in London. Oh, there, she was a pro at knowing when to use a teaspoon, a soup spoon, or even a straw. Yet, she could tell you everything you ever wanted to know about the prickly back to swamp coat. As long as she didn't have to touch one. And she hobnobbed with important people and talked about important things like, uh, fashion. But here in the jungle, Jane is Mrs. Tarzan. And Mrs. Tarzan has more important topics to deal with, such as uh, trying to not fall in the mud. <laughs> Jane hasn't seen the fire in the distance yet, and Tarzan isn't sure what to do. He could take Jane to investigate the fire with him. It might be useful to have her around, or it might be a better idea to take her back to the treehouse. She doesn't seem to be in the mood for adventure. Gee, what should Tarzan do? Seize the day. No time like the present, I always say. Tarzan and the missus swing, swoop, zip, zap, and boogie their way to the jungle as fast as they can. We all know that Jane's not as swift as the big T, but she's learning fast. After a while, they realize they've never been this far from the treehouse before. Unfamiliar territory. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like <gasps> You smell something? I took a bath, so it's not me, so forget about that. It's, it's smoke. And, and, well, there's smoke. Well, there goes Tarzan. They soon discover the ruins of an ancient city that neither or neither knew existed. And it won't exist much longer with those flames. Quick, everybody, panic! Tarzan and Jane charge into the city as buildings tumble to the ground all around them. Tarzan thinks they should try to get the fire under control. Jane thinks they should check to see if anyone needs help. Gosh, they're both real good ideas, but what should Tarzan do? Try to put out the fire or look for people who might need help? Oh, I don't know how you're gonna decide this one. Nicely done, the noble choice. Tarzan and Jane search the city, looking for people who might need help. Little do they know, they're the ones who are going to need help. Tarzan and Jane eventually come to a room fit for a king. Nice digs. Suddenly, they find themselves surrounded by a hundred strange creatures that are part man, part leopard, and all bad. A woman appears and introduces herself as Queen La. She apologizes for startling them and explains that they don't get many visitors. But there's no explaining the leopard men, who uh, are obviously not housebroken. But anyway, Tarzan urges the queen to flee. After all, the building's on fire. Queen La just laughs and says it's all part of her plan to get a hero to come and rescue her. She bangs her staff on the floor. Instantly, the flames go out. They trick. Then, like magic, all the buildings start to rebuild themselves. Even need a trick. La welcomes them to the lost city of Opal and offers to show them around. <laughs> now, um, is it just me, or is something fishy going on around here? What should Tarzan do? Decline the invitation and return home? Or be friendly and accept Queen La's invitation? <laughs> That's a tough call. Thanks, but no thanks. Maybe next time.
Tarzan passes on the queen's invite. But then she explains that it wasn't an invite, but an order. Without warning, the leopard men pounce on Tarzan and Jane. Tarzan tries to hold them off while Jane decides to shed a little light on the subject with the chandelier. Bullseye! That Jane. <laughs> she comes up with a good one every now and then. Tarzan and Jane are just about to escape when the queen pulls out her last magic trick. She slams down her staff and the floor splits apart. Tarzan and one of the leopard men tumble into the gaping chasm. They're underwater. But fortunately, water is Tarzan's element. He breaks free and tries to swim for it. But things just went from bad to big, slimy, and toothy. An enormous sea serpent emerges from the murky depths and grabs the leopard man. What should Tarzan do? Should he swim to the surface as fast as he can? Or should he turn around and try to help the leopard man? Helping others. There is no better quality in a person. Tarzan turns back and rescues the leopard man from the clutches of the sea serpent. Unfortunately, while doing so, he gets tangled by the cagey creature of the deep himself. Now the tables are turned, and Tarzan is the one in need of rescue. But one good turn deserves another, and the leopard man is there to save the day. The queen of me can't believe her minion would help Tarzan. So, the moment he emerges from the water, bam! She turns before schlubbing the dust. Ouch! Now you know that's gotta hurt. The queen begins to aim her wrath at Jane, when guess what? Tarzan's back, just in the nick of time, that's what. Jane smashes the scepter into a million pieces, and a brilliant red light shoots out all around. Magically, all the leopard men turn back into normal leopards. Whatever spell they were under has worn off. The queen can't believe her power has been taken away. Talk about a bad day. Then she turns the dust and crumbles to pieces. Sweep that under the rug. Clean up on aisle one. Unfortunately, she's not the only thing turning to dust. The city ain't doing too well either. Huge buildings fall apart. Statues tumble to the ground. Get out of there. She's going to blow. Tarzan, Jane, and all the leopards flee into the jungle, making it with only seconds to spare. Whew. That was tense. Back in the safety of the jungle, Tarzan and Jane get some hang time on the vines together. She may not be as comfortable in the jungle as Tarzan is, but take it from me, she's gonna be just fine. you can make up your own Tarzan and Jane story. At the end of each story segment, it's up to you to choose. Uh, many more. Sing it to the song of life. Take one. Okay, let's do it. There's a rhythm of this world in every nation. The song Singing to the Song of Life is really talking about Jane and Tarzan's one year anniversary and how their lives have changed by being together for a year. A song that dances on the wind, singing through the tree. I almost felt like I could be a Disney character today of recording this. I, I didn't feel like I was Mandy Moore and I had to put my stamp of who I am on it. I, I think I got to have a little bit more fun with it. So 
God, thinking of how much I loved Disney films growing up, and now I'm going to be a part of Disney history. Hear the song of the moon and stars. I hear the children To hear the full version of Mandy Moore's Singing to the Song of Life, listen to Radio Disney.